Tuck, hey, Big, it's what's been on? a while since you've been on the show, man. Yeah. Tell us what's going on. Tell us something good. Tell us something new. Well, the cat's out the bag, you know, sponsor for the cut. Oh, yeah. Different network. Yes, sir. Same like everybody else for real. Still grinding. Uh, man, I was, uh, so I just did the Cincinnati Black Wine Fest last month. Man, uh, I saw that. It's called yeah. a couple video little man, it clips. Was crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, man, they had over a thousand people there, over forty four vendors. Man, uh, most of the people was coming back. Like you are wine the best shit in here. So, you know what I'm saying? When you in the uh, man, you talking about the biggest names with black wine. So you talking about like her wine, black mat, black girl magic, um, love corkscrew. Um, mm. E40 wine, Snoop wine. He had uh, representatives there. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary J. Blige wine, T. and Tamara wine. Like, so even with the big dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like, they get the customers coming back and, and telling me, like, yeah, it ain't close. Yeah, like, man. that was major for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it put a big, like, man, a lot of my sales these last three, four weeks been big in the natty. Um, looking at a location to open up down there. A um, location? Uh, location. You need to I, you man, listen. I, I got. I, I need to put my app in now. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, man, the lady came to me like, man, I'm about to retire. Me and my husband want to invest. Like, we know a good thing when we see it, and we ain't gonna pass up on it. Um, so, man, link with them for real. Looking down at Cincinnati locations. Then outside of that, you know, the DNA cigars, man, recovering from an injury, boy, I, uh, man, I've been down since like the new year. Um, mm. My hand got fucked up opening wine, so. Really? Yeah. It got fucked up opening wine? Opening wine. Was and it we the corkscrew? Yo, the mm. corkscrew, man, it was one of them cheap ones. Shout out uh, to the uh, Who's Bad. I'm a judge on the new reality show. Yeah, for sure. We had Lacey Love in here. Uh, yeah. Three weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, so that's actually where I did it, where everybody was signing their contracts, celebrating. Popping bottles. Popping bottles. Kiara wine, you know what I'm that's saying? That's some real ball right. hard shit. Yeah. <laughs> but outside of that, man, just for real, just recovering. Man, about to get back to work. Everybody got a head start on me in 2024, but. You feel yeah, like that? Well, yeah. Man, I had to sit down for a coat, like literally, like. Been in the hospital for a month, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. surgery, not knowing if I was gonna. Man, it got to the point where they didn't know if I was gonna get, be able to keep my hand. Ah oh, man. So yeah, it was like that bad. Wow. So, I just, you know, I ain't speak on it. I just been laying low, letting God work. My mom told me it was God sent me down because I do too much. Mm. So you know what I'm saying? Like when that body rejuvenated, I go to the doctor tomorrow. It's, he tell me it's go time. It's on the floor. So yeah, yeah. But you know, we have like a real brother like relationship. So I know this ain't the first time he didn't told you to slow the fuck down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know that been on my head. Like, and it's crazy. Like I said, like you, said, man, when you running like that, man, you don't know what you're really doing to your body. Like, you talking about twenty hour days? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Working two jobs, running like six businesses. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Like, man, it be days where I don't go to sleep and still go work 16, still go bottle wine, still go roll cigar, still making dirty water. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. man, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? But, like, they say God worked. So, he, yeah. while I was sitting down, I was sitting down, like, maybe this is what I needed. Because my body, I'm, like, I've been ready to go for about three, four weeks now. Like, but my hand moving, but getting mm -hmm. my movement back. I'm like, man, when it's go time, though, it's go time. Yeah, I'm going to say one thing for sure. Your body going to let you know. You know for sure. Like, for, for sure. Real. Like, it been days where, you know, man. I could tell, like, I need some rest. Mm -hmm. But even, like, <laughs> man, I can't tell you the last time I got, like, real rest till having to sit down. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. thank God, you know what I'm saying, I'm able to keep my hand. Mm -hmm. About to be back full of throttle, so yeah. Outside of that, just grinding, man. Y'all know. So look, 
whenever you gave me um, the restock bottles for the pod, right? Mm -hmm. the, the first pod that we had when we had the bottles, um, when the pod was over, Chuck was like, hey, can I get one of those? <laughs> <And> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, and at first I'm like, well, you know, I'm trying to use it for that. But he's like, you know, I ain't never had that. And I'm like, ah, man, who am I to tell Chuck the GOAT? 30 them at that point damn near 30 episodes in who am i to tell the goat he can't have a <laughs> which, which one, one you want uh which one you which one you end up getting intimacy intimacy uh, yeah that's the one that's uh infused yeah with cbd yeah. what you what did you think about it it was very good that's dope like it me and the girl tried it she liked it too that's good yeah. shit. definitely gonna have to get us some more of it <laughs> keep it on you know what i'm saying what's up with um the newest flavor. I still have yet to have, have that one. So the black cherry, I can't keep in stock, man. The black cherry wow. more. Man, I literally like, man, like, it's crazy. Like, that's going crazy. So it's like, for example, like how pineapple seduction your flavor. Mm -hmm. Like, after drinking the black cherry, a lot of people's favorite. Turn. They take, like, they like, I don't know, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this black cherry might, and and literally like even at the Black Wine Fest, that's the first one that sold out. That's what's up. So let me ask you, when you come in from doing 20 hours and, and you ready to wind down, what's your go-to flavor? Which one do you? And don't say, don't uh, pull the, the. I love them all. <laughs> I just close my eyes and I just grab Man. a bottle. Uh, if you had to pick, which which one? Do, what's your go-to? And that's like the second question I always get outside of where the name come from. Uh, we been asked you that. They got to yeah, catch up. They got to catch up. Yeah. So, so the answer always be like they all my favorites. But um, I'm gonna just say right now it's probably the Black Cherry though. For real, that Black right. Cherry is fire. Because that's one. your new song that you recorded. You know when you in the studio that last yeah, time you, you that's your shit me. for the book. Yeah, about about to, this about about to put to go the, crazy. I gotta do the house test. I gotta go outside, do yeah. the car test. It's, and, and even like you said, when the, in the lab, when I'm creating the flavors, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm tasting it, I'm like, Yeah, this shit is gonna be it. Like every time though, like when I came with the first one, like, this is it. Then it's like I keep topping myself, so it's like that black cherry and more different. It different. How many um, different ways or recipes did you try before it got to where you where you were satisfied? As far as from jump, just, no, just this flavor cherry? specifically, trial and error wise. I ain't gonna even hold you. Like I think I done perfected. So now it's just coming up with flavors that I think the world gonna love. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like even like when I'm thinking of flavors. I'm like, bro, black cherry. That's that's like your Dr. Peppers, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, everybody love cherry Coke, mm -hmm. cherry Pepsi. You know what I'm saying. So um, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna come with a black cherry this time. You know what I'm saying. And then shit, go in there and go to work. You feel me? Like yeah. That first batch was fire. Then it was about just when I'm gonna put the release date out on it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Cause I'm sitting on this since like November. I'm like, man, I'm gonna drop it for Valentine's Day. You know you what I'm saying? Know. Type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we in the kitchen now. It's July 28. <clears throat> we got a new one coming. You know what I'm saying? For the four year anniversary. But I'm only gonna do 150 bottles because it's gonna be limited edition. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know where bottle number one need to go. Period. Now, Number one podcast and it's, coming out of Ohio. And it's going to be crazy. Like, they $50 bottles. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I posted, it's going to be um, called Forbidden Great. Gold bottle. Oh, okay. You coming gold bottle. Gold bottles with the signature and everything. Limited edition. Mm -hmm. We changing the game. We changing the wine game forever. That's this shit up. mine now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how I feel. <laughs> That's what's up. <clears throat> yeah. so. That's what's up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I'm a while I can. I'm gonna get your flowers. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
you probably don't even remember me. I do though. But uh, yeah. the last time I seen you, this was like, I want to say this was 2016, 2017. Uh, you and my cousin, Hunt, was doing a show at Jazz Central. Oh, yeah. And um, matter of fact, it was 17 because I had just did, I had just recorded uh, Bodak Scrooge. I had redid Cardi B's Bodak Yellow. And um, some producer dude from Atlanta was. Talk about, uh, that was Jan Jeans, I think, at the time. <coughs> was it Jan Jeans? Nah, that was Jazz, <coughs> Jazz Central. That was Jazz. It was Jazz. You talking about. Uh, and you had a uh, dude, uh, whoever won. The little thing got a first video and, promo and all of that shit. Yeah, and you with Pinky a, Red. Yeah, Pinky Red was the uh, female that put it together with her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. I remember that. And now that's the last time I seen you, G. Damn. Oh, well, until well, we uh, just seen each other yeah, at the Keys, yep, uh, yep, Black Black Billionaire uh, yep, thing. Yep, yep. Yeah. When I Before see I you, I sit down. I ain't seen you, bro, in a minute too. That's the first. Thing. Cause you was the first person I seen when I came through there. I'm like, damn, I ain't seen bro in a minute. On everything. So yeah. for me, so for me to see you transition from music, I don't know if you had this going on back then, but because I had got locked up, okay. so to come home and see other things that you have, uh, other avenues that you have uh, followed or whatever, I, I I admire your 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 growth and progression. You know what I'm saying? So that's love, bro. That's um actually back then that was like nigga was in the lane with the music, but like that's I'm always thinking of something different. Like my mind always like people ask me why I smoke cigars. I told bro no. Like I'm a cigar smoker. Um it put me in like meditation. Mm -hmm. So when I'm meditating, I'm thinking, like, I'm always trying to think of another way to make sure my family's straight. Like, something that's going to leave. When I leave, it's going to carry on. So the music, the music was never for me, like, fame, for the fame or nothing. That was actually just love. Like, that's how much I love music, you know what I'm saying? So whether I got on, which we, you know, I got stories for days with the music, yeah. but... That all, you know what I'm saying, that was just out of love. But, like, even with the wine and cigars, like, that's love. Like, it ain't work to me. That's why I could go do 20 hours, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because everything that I do, even if it's, it's a title, a job, but it's something I love to do, you know what I'm saying? Whether yeah. being in the schools, I get the mentor, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Working at RTA, getting to be able to meet my elders and, you know what I'm saying? I'm a people person and then go cook wine. You know what I'm saying? Something mm -hmm. I always loved to do. You know what I'm saying? And wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, so. What made you want to tap in with wine though? Like what like is that is is is, is this something that you have been studying on or like what intrigued you to even wanna go that route? Um, so like on the first like the first pod we linked up. Um the wine for real, like was always something that I was always interested in because, like I was telling Brian, now I'm like, this like bosses like you see people bosses drink wine, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like the people like it's an elegance, it's something, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's different, you know Class. what I'm saying? Most Class, definitely. yeah. So uh, I always had that in mind, but then never pursue it until I went and linked up with a couple of my cousins. Well, my cousin and his people was having a meeting. They like, how y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's the first time I seen like six motherfuckers, like all with the six figures and they all was like younger than me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But they, yeah. they eating together, like, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't no one person and everybody, like all of them had their own bag or their own pie and they was putting it together. But they in the meeting talking on some, at that time, I don't even know motherfuckers that was doing stocks and shit. They was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they jumped on like Bitcoin and shit before everybody knew. Like they, they so they eating, you know what I'm saying? So they in the meeting talking on some bullshit. 
they was drinking wine and smoking cigars. I'm like, this the most boss shit ever, bro. Like they sitting at the round table. And real I'm at, player. And that, yeah, real player boss shit. Like, so I'm thinking to myself, like, at that time, I'm doing music, but I'm still trying to find my niche for real. And I got the damn, like, ain't nobody doing wine. Definitely where I'm from. Ain't nobody making wine, you know what right. I'm saying? And then started with, you know what I'm saying, looking it up, how to make homemade. And bought my little first little four, five hundred dollar Midwest supply kit and been in there whipping since. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. Yeah. 